This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I'm going to show you three little known file renaming hacks to massively speed up all your renaming when you have multiple files on a Windows machine. And the good news is you don't need to download any software, don't need to buy anything. This is stuff you can do with your existing machine. The things I'm going to show you are on a Windows 10 machine. There are some minor caveats. Most things just make it simpler on the older machines. The security has just been upgraded some on the Windows 10, so I'll, I'll let you know when some of those things come into play. I'm going to start off with just a few of the basics on just a renaming a file in general. There's three ways that I can think of that are the simple ways to rename them. One, you can click into the file name, double click again. I clicked once, paused, and then clicked. So click once, pause, click, and that opens it up to rename it. The second way is you can right click and rename. Most people know that one, of course. And then the third one, which is less known, is the F2. Hit the F2 key, and there you go. So those are three normal ways to do it if you're doing it a file at a time. Well, when, I've, when I'm doing a video like this, I'll end up with multiple tracks because I'll do pausing or, or I'll mess something up, believe it or not, and then I'll need to stop and redo the track. So what I like to do before I put all of my tracks into my video editing software is like to rename them one two three four five six seven eight etc that way when I put them in there I have no doubt of what order anything's in so you know the default will be this timestamp that's the way I've got it set up to default but let me just show you real quick how you can change them really fast you click on it I'm gonna use the the keyboard because I like to so you got the F2 key now here's the magic uh, I'm going to rename them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down. so 1, hit the tab key, 2, hit the tab key, 3, hit the tab key, 4, hit the tab, 5, tab, 6, tab, there you go, boom, just like that, that is just how quick you can do that, I haven't seen anybody else ever mention that, it's just something I stumbled into on accident one day, another thing to note, if you're working on a Windows 10 machine, I'm not sure how far back this goes, I think to Windows 8.1 it does it as well, I know the older machines don't do it, but if you've renamed a file, you can still do the Control Z, 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 and you can get them back in just in case you did something wrong. So that's kind of nice. They didn't used to have that option. You could always do it in Word or any of those types of things, but Control Z wasn't always working on a, on a file rename basis. Now the second method I'm going to show you is, let's see, so I've got my two kids here, and uh, let's say I wanted to rename just the ones with the one child. So you can see this one and this one. These are all the same kid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'll click the one, I'll come over here, I'm going to shift click and I'll get everyone in between, and then I can control click and hit this, and that way I've highlighted just the ones of him, and so this one's him too. So what we could do, also if you if you don't like to do it, that way you could just do control click, so I click, control click, control click, control click, control click, control click. Now when I do this, what I can do is I hit F2, it's going to do it's going to highlight the one, but in each case it's going to rename them all, but it'll be, I'm going to, his name is Nick, so I'll go Nick, and then when I hit enter, you can see now Nick, one, two, three, four, five. Now here's something you may have noticed. This is the one I renamed that was highlighted. So the last one you click is going to be the number one. So I'm going to hit control Z, put this back. So let's just say I wanted this to be number one. In that case, I would want to reverse the process, reverse click this way. I'll control click so that this is the first one. And now when I do the F2 key, this is the one that gets highlighted. So the last one you select to be the, the one that's number one. So we'll just call it Nick, and I'll hit enter, boom. Now it's going to be one through six, Nick. So that way I can dump them all into the same directory, and there you go. Now this makes a great segue into my next hack. You see in each of these cases it has the parentheses. Well, some programs won't let you put a parenthesis in. I believe if you were re renaming music files, mp3s, I, I don't think some of the players will allow that character. And so what's neat is once we've done something this way and we want to rename each of those just to drop the single things out so we would be Nick 1, Nick 2, Nick 3 versus Nick parentheses 1, parentheses 2. So I'm going to show a really awesome way to get rid of the parentheses in a one fell swoop. Okay, so here's the fun one. What we're going to do is we're going to sh hit the shift key and right click in any of the white space here. And we're going to go down to open PowerShell window here. Now, I believe in some of the older systems you didn't have to use the shift key and right click. So when you right click, if you see PowerShell, great, if more power to you. And if not, just use the shift key to get to it. So what we're going to be doing here is putting in PowerShell commands to just change these automatically all at one time. 
I'm gonna bring this down a little because we don't need much of it. So now what I'm gonna do is follow along if you can here, and I'm gonna put the I'll put this code down in the actual description. So if you can't find it now, just go down to show more and it'll it'll have it down there. So here we go. Play along with me if you can. It's gonna be git dash child item space. And now this next one is depending on what the file type is. In this case, we're going to change these. And so this is a .jpg. So we're going to say asterisk JPEG, JPG. And that way it knows that anything that is a JPEG is going to be the one changed. Then we're going to go space. And then this is the pipe. It's the uh, shift backslash button on the upper right hand of most keyboards under the backspace. And then I'm going to say for each, because all this is going to do is loop it for each one. Sorry, E-A-C-H. So for each of these items, it's going to do that. And so the next thing we're going to do is do an open curly brace. And then we're going to say rename uh, dash item. So it's item like so. Now we do the <laughs> dollar pound or the dollar sign underscore. And then we do a space dollar sign underscore. And now we do the dot name dot replace. Now you're basically coding now, in case you didn't realize it. Now we're going to do the parentheses. And now this, what we're doing here is we're telling it what to replace. So in this case, because I have the parentheses here, it's going to say every one of these, go ahead and replace it. Well, what do we want to replace it with? So you put a comma and the next line tells us what to replace it with. We're going to replace it with nothing. And since there's nothing between these two, it's going to say, I'm going to replace it with nothing. There you go. If you wanted to replace it with a 5 or something, great. So now we go like this, close that, and now we have to close the final statement. There we go. Now, if I did this right, it should work, and it should replace all these all at once. Just the left one, though. See, we've only done the left. We'll do the right one next. So I hit Enter. Boom. You see it? Just replaced them all. Now all we have to do is hit the up or down key on your keyboard. Oh, it's the up. And now if you use your left and right arrows, we can come back here and we'll just hit, get to where we're right here under that specific uh, character. And then we're going to hit backspace and then we'll put the other one in, the right parenthesis, and then we'll just go over here and hit enter. Boom, there you go. Boom, there, look at that. Now they're all gone. Now that's a super simple hack. Not many people are probably going to know that or know how to do this. Hopefully I explained a little bit of why it works and how it's working. That way you can manipulate it a little. So change this if you were wanting to do the movies. If you wanted to change each of the movie file names. And if you had a different character you wanted to do, you would come here and put, this is the character I want to get rid of, and this is what I want to replace it with. So if I was to put something else, remember, if I put something else between those two parentheses, it would give me the opportunity to add another character. I can't think of a scenario where I'd want to do that. But, you know, who knows? And I'll offer you just one last bit of clarification on how this works. Just remember that anytime you're doing a JPEG, if it doesn't find the character, it will not affect that file. Like, say, these, it didn't find the character that it was looking for, so it didn't affect them. Although it looked at each of these to see if it had it, it didn't actually change them because that didn't find that. So hopefully that is crystal clear. I got. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have learned something. I'm going to put the code for this down below. If you have any questions, you can reach me at the email in the description or leave a comment down here and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?